Hi guys, welcome to Magan on the Moon. Today we are going to be doing a really cool faux batik technique for fabric. Um, the fabric that I am using is are these um, very, very thin cotton napkins that I get at the dollar store. And they're really big and I cut them into four pieces. And they're very thin and great for um dyeing and doing stuff like this for journal covers or for embellishments so if you see these at your dollar store they're just very very thin or even their white fabrics are really great for dyeing and i use those a lot for doing this type of stuff because it's a dollar 25 it's bigger than a fat quarter you get a lot of fabric and it's it's not great by itself, but it's great for this type of project. So traditional batik uses wax as the resist, and we are using a glue for our resist. So I have a lean school tacky glue. Here's what I'm going to say. I tried it with like a thinner gel glue, and it did work, but that glue is very, very runny. So we're going to be drawing designs on our fabric. Um, it's just going to be more runny and it's going to be harder to get a thicker line. If you use like a thicker white glue like this, um, you want it to be washable first of all. Um, if you use a thicker white glue like this, it'll hold the design better, but it'll be, a, it'll be a little bit more difficult to wash it off after, but it's still not too bad and it's worth it to keep the integrity of the design. So all I'm doing is I'm putting this on uh, top of a piece of parchment. The good thing about this school tacky glue also is that it's, um, and you can use regular aliens as long as it's washable, I think. Um, and you could definitely use Elmer's glue, anything like that. Just like the cheaper glues have a little bit more water in them, so they're uh, thinner. Um, all you're going to do here, I'm putting it on parchment, but it doesn't really soak through too bad, is coming in and I'm just using the glue and it has, you know, a really nice pointy tip on it anyway to draw my design. And I'm just going to do my stars and you know the glue is basically acting as a resist because we're going to paint on top of it. So um, you want to make your lines fairly thin thick and connected because anywhere where there's not glue there's gonna be paint so I'm just coming in and drawing a little star design here so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this to dry and I have one that's already dried so I can show you the next part of this so I have one that's already done and I'm just putting it down on a piece of parchment paper and you're going to use acrylic paint to paint this. The reason why we're using acrylic paint is because acrylic paint is permanent once it's dry. You don't want to use tempera paint or watercolor or water soluble inks because we're going to wash it after to dissolve the ink and it will just dissolve or to dissolve the glue and it will just dissolve your ink um, right along with it. So all I'm going to do is, I, you use your cheapest uh, acrylic paints for this. You know, you don't have to use anything crazy expensive here to get the, the technique, you know, to get the results that you're looking for. I'm just going to pick out a couple of colors here. And, um, you know, I'm in my little, uh, I'm in my little uh, bin where I keep the, the stuff that I am uh, trying to you know, use everything up and I will show you kind of what I have going on, what it looks like when you're painting it. So you can see all of the glue here is dry, it's completely clear and I just added some acrylic paint and you can use acrylic inks for this as well, whatever it is, or high flow acrylic, as long as it's acrylic and it, so it will dry per minute. I'm gonna spring a little extra water and then I'm just coming in and, and um, using the brush to spread it out so you can see um, how the stars are there in the back. And I like to use a lot of different colors and just layer on a bunch of different colors. Some copper. So you get the gist of this. 
you're just layering on the colors have fun um, this is a very thin fabric so get it really saturated in there um, I didn't try putting gesso or anything but you could try that beforehand if you wanted to give the fabric a little bit more body underneath but I didn't bother with that because a lot of times if I'm going to use this for book covers or something I'm adhering it to something else anyway um, so you get the gist of this you let the um, paint dry completely okay because it's going to be permanent once it's completely dry so once that is dry I will show you what you do you're using read the directions on the bottle this bottle says the glue is washable out of fabric with soap and water once it's dry so I use very hot water with some dish soap in my sink and um, in a bucket in my sink and I just let the fabric soak in there and I gently like the glue starts to kind of dissolve and rub off and then this is what you are left with so it acts as a resist i did some eyes there and then this one has the hearts and spirals and i can see like where i made my lines really thin and where they were thicker but i really love the effect it has a really nice texture to it so it's make a really beautiful book cover so i hope you guys try this i'm definitely gonna be doing more of this um thank you so much and i'll see you tomorrow